when airplanes crash. That's a big deal because the industry relies on its safety record as part of the sales pitch. It relies on those planes doing what they're supposed to do, which is get people from one place to the other. So the Boeing aircraft, 737, software crashed the plane multiple times, killing people. It was a piece of software that made a decision that the pilots didn't even know about. Apparently, they weren't trained that, that, that it could do that. Now, a hardware sensor failed, which caused the software to malfunction and crash the plane and kill people. Let's be clear what happened. So, how do you get there? Well, the airline industry itself is based on things you've heard of. It follows rules. These are ISO, international standards. Remember these ISO 9000, 9001, 9002 commercials? The little emblems you see down in the corner of some goods? Those are standard procedures. Those basically create rules for business and <laughs> machines for large organizations to follow so they do it well. That's the whole point of ISO. Well, it's been turned into making money instead of doing it well. But those procedures, those standards are huge things, huge systems and processes inside these organizations. So under their ISO 9000, since they're a it depends on what division they were classifying under, but they're under one of those ISO 9000 standards. One, two, three, I don't know how many more they've invented since. Underneath that is software methodology, which is how you build software for very complex critical systems. So the premiere that I know of, the the best methodology is inside a capability maturity model, another part of business processes. This one is purely around software development, writing software, testing software, certifying software, making sure it meets requirements and laws and everything else that goes on. So the media has been just all over the place on this. They want the FAA fired. They want the... They want to blame the FA. They want to blame somebody else other than Boeing's methodology. What should have happened here is Boeing's ISO certification should have been put at risk. Their capability maturity model should have been assessed, and the software methodology that got to that bad decision that killed people, how that was made, that they had multiple occurrences of it, is concerning. Um, especially given the time frames in between the occurrences. They had time to do something about that. But the media has made it all about something else. That's all I can see in there. A piece of software killed people. All right? That, that is what happened. Period. Now, stories inside of Boeing that they outsource for $7 software developers... In overseas could be very true. I don't doubt it. That's what this industry has done. They have found the uh, lowest price bidder. And that's usually not American labor, especially in this IT stuff. But the complexity overwhelms some of these folks very easily. I've worked <laughs> with these organizations in large scales and they can fall apart pretty quickly because profit, right? Making money. The amount it costs to test these things. In order to test a piece of software like that, you have to have real-time systems, testing systems, able to simulate what can go wrong. Were those tested? Were those thought of? Now, inside that ISO process, is program and project management, there's also a chain of signatures and authorizations. So all of this stuff, to keep that ISO certification, all of this stuff is written down somewhere in those corporate walls. And frankly, they're acting criminal now. Back then, they weren't acting curious. They were, cover, you know, cover our ass, make excuses. So... 
despite all the other Boeing stuff going on, that base issue that caused those plane crashes seems to be getting lost somewhere. Probably because there's billions of dollars in liability. When someone on a software certification chain signed something they shouldn't have, they overlooked requirements, they didn't know requirements, that pitot tube, the instrument that caused the problem, is a known challenge in avionics. It has been since I learned about the things 40 years ago. They haven't changed that much. It, it, it's just not the way it works. So something failed in software miserably and killed people. The rest of whatever they're talking about with Boeing is not part of that story. It wasn't the FAA that did this. It was internal auditing structures that failed. So, that's my Boeing opinion from a professional perspective. You could do an audit of the organization and I bet you would find some weaknesses that they wouldn't see from inside because they're looking at it as profit centers, not uh, business centers. It's uh, called profit center accounting. It's like the old double books days back in the uh when you could get away with it only different all right good morning saturday peace out